Welcome to Seth Craft. Today I'm taking a look at the Jinmitsu L8. This is an all-in-one 20 watt diode laser. Companies these days realize that it's a bit of a hassle to assemble a laser and so they are now including them inside of the housing and it's all-in-one. You just pull it out of the box and you hook everything up and you're good to go. Unlike previous lasers where you had to spend an hour or two assembling all the little bits and pieces. This laser was shipped in a large box which had plastic protectors on each corner and there was no damage to the box whatsoever. As soon as I opened this up it had foam on all sides and lots of foam on the inside holding everything together as well. Let's just say this is the best packaging I've ever seen on a laser like this. Very impressed with its packaging. Let's take a tour around this laser. First thing you'll note is that there is a protective film that covers the uh, plastic here. And if I remove that, we'll be able to see inside and it should allow us to uh, view our work. And because it is this orange protective color, we don't have to wear the safety goggles to uh, prevent our eyes from being damaged to this laser. So go ahead and pull all of this off real quick. Let's begin our tour here with the front of the housing. So right here is where the air assist tube is going to go in. As you can see, it says pump tube right there. Next, we have the pump power, which means you only have to plug in the one outlet to the laser and that will power everything else through this housing here. Here's DC 24 volts. There's a type C USB. Over here is a micro SD card or TF card. And then there is a CAM PC USB right there at the top. Over here, it goes from engraving to cutting to max. We'll have to get into that whenever we uh, start working with the machine. Here is a play button, a power button, emergency stop. Here is a light. I'm assuming that just means that the laser is currently running. And then here is a lock. So there must be a key included with this unit. The housing is see-through all the way around so you can view your work. Up here on the top, there is a camera, which I'm looking forward to trying that out. Now, if I open up the lid, you just grab right here and pick this up. There are some hinges that will hold this from falling back too far, as you can see right there. Here's a look at the camera real quick. Now, like I said before, this is an all-in-one system, which means the track is already assembled and you do not have to worry about adjusting any of that. The laser came uh, detached from the rail here, so we'll have to get that connected here in just a moment. This down here is the air assist tube, which goes up to the laser right there. And it looks like we have a USB that connects the camera right in there. Here is uh, a couple of little things. One of them says roller. We've got S and F. I'm not exactly sure what those are. We may get to them in a bit. There's also some switches here which will allow the laser to work only if the door is closed. Now in the back there is an exhaust fan. Looks to be a three inch and luckily they have included that here with the laser. So we'll probably be sticking that out the window when doing our cutting test. To get this closed, you just pull it forward and let that rest right there. Let's take a quick look at everything else that's included with this laser. So here is that three inch exhaust tube. It comes very rigid and it pops out as you can see right there. So we'll be installing that out the window here in a little bit. Here is your primary power cord, which will power up the laser and everything else. This is the air assist. This is the output right here. There'll be a hose that goes from there over into that uh, port on the front of the machine. And this is the power cord. Here is a tools and accessories box. Let's go ahead and open that and see what all is included. A bag full of stuff, nice. Extra lens, USB drive, a couple of wrenches, Allen key, looks like a cleaning uh, piece for the lens. There is an extra key, a brush, and it looks like an air assist tube. All kinds of good stuff in there. This is the air assist tube that will go from the air assist into the laser housing. It also included a number of different materials to test out. So we will likely be trying that out here in just a moment. A couple little rounds of wood. 
couple pieces of uh, aluminum that it'll peel off the coating there. Plywood that we can try cutting through. It also included some cardboard or card stock that we can cut through. It does have a user's manual. I'll have to go over that here in just a moment. Here is a ruler with magnets on it. So you can lock that down to the cutting base and do some work with that. Here is a box that has the power adapter inside. And that's just gonna go from the uh, AC to DC. And that's what this power cord right here will go to. And then lastly, there is a cutting base. And these are very important. So it's got the honeycomb there. And it looks to me as though the base, yes, it is locked down to this piece of metal. So you can uh, keep that together and slide it around as you need. And now that we've seen the L8 laser and also all the accessories that come with this machine, let's go ahead and get everything set up, hook it up to the computer, open up Lightburn, and do our first engraving and cut test. The first thing I want to do is open up the lid and get the laser module installed. There's a thumb screw on this side that has to be loosened up. And also, if you look on the laser module, there is a notch here on this slide. That notch allows you to bring the laser all the way up to the top, like here, slide this into position, and notch it in there. And it has just enough clearance for this to slide down that track and install. It might be a little bit tricky to see, but the track that that laser slides into has a very low tolerance. The thumb screw over here is easy to adjust to allow you to move that laser up and down. And right here on the side is actually a uh, spacing guide. So I know my hands are in the way, but you can spin that around and set that to the depth you need for this laser to focus. All right, now that we have the laser module installed, Let's go ahead and get the honeycomb base in here next. The honeycomb base has this two separate arrows and that's gonna go in the upper left-hand corner. And so what I want to do is get this base down here and then lift the machine up from the front so I can get that to slide into position. There are a few guides that the cutting base will rest against. So there's one over here and this tray right here. There is also a guide right here. And then if you look over here, there's one on this side. Back here is a metal one. And then over here is also one that will prevent that cutting base from sliding around. Very nice to see how sturdy that is and locked into position. This is the air assist. It will pull air in from the top slots here and push it out of this nozzle back over here. So I'm gonna use the included tube that will take the air from the uh, little motor here and put it into this right here. So to do that, I'm just gonna simply take this tube and press it in right here, move over here and press it into this side quite simple to set up. And then next, I'm going to take the power cord. It's nice that this unit runs off of the laser itself and doesn't have to have a separate power cord in order to run the air assist. I also like how the exhaust fan also works through the machine. You don't have to have three separate plugs to make this work. So here is the power for the air assist. I'm gonna match up the notch here and just simply snap that into position and that should be set up. Now to power up the laser, the air assist, and the exhaust fan, I have the AC to DC power adapter here. This is just going to plug up to a typical wall plug. So let's do that right over here. And then the other side of that is just gonna plug up here in the front of the machine on the DC end board. Lasers like this produce a lot of exhaust or smoke from whatever is being engraved or cut. And so it's very important to install the exhaust ductwork. So this laser has come with this short piece of plastic tube, which is an accordion style. So I can hook this up to the back of the laser and then take this piece out the window to vent out the exhaust. So let's go ahead and install this real quick. Here's the three inch exhaust port. I'm going to just get this hose 
press down on here. Now you could use a hose clamp if you wanted to, to make sure that doesn't have any leaks around it, but I should be able to get this on here good enough, especially just for this small test here. Send this out some. Then I'm going to uh, angle it out the window. Now in the future, I will have this laser hooked up to an actual exhaust system. But for now, I think that just going out the window is going to be sufficient. In the box of accessories, there was a USB to USB cable. And so I'm going to plug that up to the machine right up here. And then also down to my computer. I just finalized the setup of the Jimitsu L8. It took me about two days to realize what my mistake was. In the package, they included both a USB to USB and a USB-C to USB. Those two cables have to be plugged up to the machine. One's for the camera and one's for the laser. So my mistake was thinking that I only had to have the one USB cable. So I got that installed and then I used the TF card or micro SD that's on the machine, plug that up to the adapter and then copy the drivers over to the computer and install those. Everything is working well now. So let's go ahead and start using this laser. This is the air assist. This is the power for the air assist. There's the power for the laser itself. Connection to the computer for the laser. Connection to the computer for the camera. So over here is the knob that will control the air assist. This is the play button that's going to be used for uh, other things than what we're doing today. Power button, emergency stop, and activity. And then also a lock over here. So let's go ahead and turn the machine on. Pushing this here. Now if I look at the module down here, you've got a green light which indicates the flame sensor and over here is the air assist sensor if i turn this knob and turn the air assist on that will turn green to show that there is air now coming out of the bottom of the laser for the air assist so you can adjust that knob for uh, whatever you need the setting to be there so now if we move over to the computer i can open up light burn in order to get this laser to work i set up COM5, I just named it Jinmitsu L8, and it is using Gerbil, and so that's all you have to do to set that up down here. The laser automatically goes to home, and if I move over here to the camera, I can see that the camera is visible in here. I can actually go to move and move the laser around. For the initial test of this machine, let's use a piece of cardstock that was included with this kit and place it into the honeycomb cutting bed just like that go ahead and close the lid and then we will design something in light burner real quick all right let's do something very basic let's just grab a little bit of text here the knob here on the side of the laser module is going to be turned to the seven position and that's because the material i'm using is so thin then i can release this little thumb screw here and drop the laser down until it touches and then I can tighten that back up and then twist this out of the way and that should be the focus that we need here on the material that's going to be cut. I'm going to press the frame button on Lightburn to watch this draw out where this is going to be engraved or cut. Everything seems to be within the desired space. I'm going to go ahead and press start and see what we get. And the job is done. There we go. Made a little stencil out of this cardboard. Next, let's do some cutting into some plywood. I'm going to place my material down here. Now, this is one of the uh, sample pieces that was shipped with the laser. So, a friend of mine has a cut file. It's a uh, Sam Craft and I'll have a link to that down below. And it will allow me to uh, see the speed and power settings required to cut into this type of material.
All right, let's see how we did here. Now, for some reason, it did not cut out this file. My light burned through a little error, so we can at least see how it's done here on the cutting test. A little bit of uh, soot there on the edges I'll have to uh, scrub off, but seems to have done quite well with the power versus speed test. I'll have a link to this file down below if you want to get it from Sam Craft. Well, I need to run my test to see about my engraving because that went way too thick. But still fun to see that it worked out. Almost cut through that. My thoughts on the Jinmitsu L8 all-in-one laser engraving machine. The packaging was excellent, no damage to the machine during transit. The setup was pretty easy, except for the user manual being a little bit vague on some of the things you have to do to get this uh, initially installed. Uh, so basically, all the cables that are included with the machine, go ahead and plug them all up. You got your camera, you've got your laser to computer, you got your air assist, your air assist power, and then the power cord also. The TF card is removed, put into the adapter, which is just your USB adapter right here. You use that to go to your computer, and then you download the driver, and uh, I used Lightburn, and that actually set up very quick once I had that uh, computer cable connected. As far as the operation goes, I have it set up to automatically go to home, and uh, on startup, which is nice. But I like how I'm able to place my material anywhere on the work surface and place my uh, laser exactly where I want this to start. Now you can use exact coordinates on your light burn as well. Um, so all kinds of options here. But as far as the build quality, design, and setup of the Jinmitsu L8, excellent. Works right out of the box and I am very pleased with it. If you wanna check out a link to this, I'll have that in the description down below. I wasn't paid anything for this video. Um, this laser was provided for one of my other channels and uh, I thought I would give you a quick review of it here on Sethcraft. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.